There are 32 First Nations languages indigenous to British Columbia. Born in 1910. The Sinshatan language is his first language. My father could uh, see that the language was in danger, so he went out and bought a $30 typewriter that anybody could afford and made it possible for anybody that had 30 bucks to go into a second hand store and buy a typewriter and be able to type the language. that made the language. The language was given to our ancestors by the Great Spirit when he spoke uh, to our ancestors in our language and gave us the laws that we should live by. And so we want that to continue. It's our right as a, a human being to have the language in Chatham to speak. multiplication, division. Juska es mos ma gold upix es na ka. Na gods is a class. The dark west, the glass, so flesh. Na gods is a class. Please give it to Zila. Na sukusa es rasuk jetsi. Get 
When I gave birth to my son, I knew I wanted him to know his language. My name is Carrie Lynn Victor, and I'm from the Chiang First Nation. I decided to write him a lullaby so that I could sing to him in the language. I didn't have the opportunity to be raised by fluent language speakers. My grandma will be translating the lyrics into Halkamela. My name is Earl Smith. I grew up in different households of elder relatives. It used to be our practice to always have a pot of tea or, or a pot of soup on the table, and when people came in, you naturally fed them. Before I went to a residential school, I could speak Chinook. I could speak our language, and I could speak English. And by the time I finished my 12 years in residential school, I'd only speak English. The uh, connotation of religion was foreign to us. Huh? I could understand spirituality, but I couldn't understand religion. I had to ask my brother in our language what they were saying. Yeah? And the first time that happened, I remember it so well. Huh? This nun, she was, she was a huge person. I was in mid-sentence and I, I got the back of a hand right in my mouth. That incident alone put the fear in me about using her language. And when I left after 12 years of residential school, that fear was subconscious. Somebody might hear me and punish me. You know, some of us had our mouths washed with soap for speaking our language. You? Mm -hmm. Working with a language program with some of the community members is helping me more than it's helping them, you know, because I've gained the courage to use our language more in public now. Eh? We want our children and our great-grandchildren to understand how we've survived as First Nations in spite of all the regulations and policies, Indian affairs and residential schools, how we survived. It was our traditional practices, and one of those practices was speaking our language and understanding it. Nakazli Gani. 
My name is Sarah Sam. I come from the Nakasli Indian Band Reserve in Fort St. James. My mom was a carrier language teacher for many years. She also does a lot of curriculum development in the language. My oldest sister, Florence Sam, is a carrier language teacher at Nakalban. Teachers. Chani. Satisku. Saicho dini. Mmm, saicho. Chani, chani. And my sister, Gloria, has been a language instructor as well as a language teacher. Atsi akwat akelas mai. Atsi akwat akelas mai. We can work together and we have a lot of fun sometimes just sharing in our language. Awetsuacha neba patsacha. Yeah. To have family support is very important. If we didn't have that close family ties, we won't be able to do what we're doing today. Language and culture is important and you have to have language and culture to live. <laughs> When we're losing the language, we're losing the respect for one another and who we are. And I think if we rebuild the language and the culture in the community, the people will be grounded with a better life. If you wanted to say family in the Dhaka language, it's not Nike. <laughs> Seven letter word for language. Your word is umajimsh. Welcome back to BC's 25th annual Provincial Spelling Bee, the most competitive bee in the country. From Thompson River Salish. English translation, please. I was named after an ancestor. This bee incorporates all 34 official languages English, French, and the 32 distinct native languages. Umichimsh. Little stress you. M E C M S. That is correct. Yes. Your word is Pumaka from the northern Shlatlimich, from the Lilouette Salish, meaning drum. Pumaka. P U M stressed A K. Pumaka. That is incorrect. Pumaka is P-U-M, stressed A, K, A, glottal stop, Pumaka. Down to two contestants now. This is going to be a battle, folks. Your word is dratl. A language of origin? Niska. Your word is ashkayach. Repeat the word, please. Hard A, A, H, L. Correct. A, S, Q A Y A L A. That's correct. Quila Yala. Losive K W I L A stop Y A L L A. That is incorrect. Please take your seat. Raven, you must spell this word correctly to win. Your word is Elan, from the Shtlatlimchich language, to feel the power of something cultural or spiritual. Elan, A-L stressed A-N, Elan. That is correct.
Ladies and gentlemen, the winner. Seven letter word for language. Language is culture. Donaha was always here in the mountain, you know. There's no other language like it, and it never was written. Our language is unique in that it's an isolate language. We belong to no other family language of any kind. Um, we are our own. It makes me sad that we're losing our language, and each year we're losing more and more elders. We have 22 fluent speakers left right now, so in a course of 15 years, it would be anticipated that there will be no fluent speakers around. So it's really important that we archive and develop everything that we need now for the future. We recognized years ago that to be able to get the language heard, we needed to be able to digitize it and get it out into the communities. We have Tanaka Online. It's designed for non-speakers of the language so that they can utilize that to learn the language. There's a huge language gap between, you know, the younger generation and the elders. It was funny. I finished making a podcast uh, website directed more towards the youth. Because the youth are so technology driven and savvy. He's so cute yet. Good day, good afternoon. I think that uh, in the future, I'll not say me because I'll, I won't be here, but the future generation, if they're not learning, to sit down and listen to old stories that were told, you know, by the older generation and uh, learn the Tunaha language, uh, they're going to lose a lot. If you think in 20 or 30 years from now, the ability to have an elder in a three-dimensional form in a classroom and speaking the language is really not that far off. How many of you like Watak? The virtual elder idea, I think, is a great idea. Mainly because I'm thinking of myself. I want to retire. <laughs> language is always evolving, so it has to evolve with the people. I have hope for the language. I think I think if we stick to it, I think we can bring it back. Nestled deep in the mountains of northern British Columbia lies the Nishka Nation. As First Nation communities work to keep their languages strong, the Nishka Nation has found an unlikely hero, a champion for language preservation. Attack. Hello? In 2003, Niska teacher Gu Aie of New Ienge, BC was looking for a unique way to teach his students Niska. Zach was born into the world, and he's been a big hit ever since. My name is Zach. In Niska, that means the firekeeper. I've been teaching Niska language ever since I was born. The Niska word for smile is mim. You have to smile when you say it, okay? But Zach didn't just stop at the classroom. I have a show on YouTube with Zitz Mercy, where she teaches me to say words. The internet is special because you can share your language with people everywhere. We have fancy computer programs on the internet too that makes it fun to learn our language. And Zach didn't just stop at kindergartners. He teaches grade sixes and sevens too. They have just as much fun with it. His axe. His axe. <laughs> it means to laugh. His axe. We are all kids at heart. We can all have fun with learning. Help. I'm Liz Bolton. I live in a place called Bella Bella. 
It's uh, very isolated. There's about uh, 1,500 people, give or take. My name is Beth Humpchett, and I'm a native language teacher in the Bella Bella Community School. The only way to get here is either by boat or by plane. It was very important to me to translate the Pacific Coastal Safety Announcements into our language, Haltakla, because um, it's never been done. We use for container. In our linguistic course, uh, we came up with a lot of the translations through our elders. Some of the words were for like, you know, iPod or something, headphones. They, they had to come up with a word that pretty much described the, the object instead of the actual word for it. Kuala Kuala is, that, that part means to speak. Okay. is into. It's a container that you speak down into. It was fun too. It didn't feel like work. Pacific Coastal now uses the translations on their flights from Bella Bella to Port Hardy. Oh. For me, I feel it's important for non helps up people to hear our language so that they have that understanding that we do still love it and care for it. Our language is a part of who we are. The more that we speak our language, the more that we practice our culture, the stronger we become. My name is Vernon Williams Jr. That's my English name and Gum Dame Hinu de Camp. That's my name is the Songbringer. I hear them in my head. When it first started I had no real idea what was going on and fear and thinking I was going crazy of hearing these songs in my head. When I wrote the words down that I was hearing that I thought were gibberish, I showed it to my aunt and she just started laughing and told me they were all Haida words. And that's what I made into my first song. song, I Love You Haida Gwai, it was something I composed because I love this island and that's the best way I could let people know how much it means to me. It's the trees, the water, the beaches, the sand, the people, you realize that we are a part of this land. Yeah, the songs that I've been given have really made a difference for a lot of people. As you're singing it, you have to repeat it so much that you end up learning the language through that little bit and it makes you want to learn more and more. Every song that every culture has is medicine and just singing it helps you heal, and makes you feel better. These songs, they just make me feel so proud of what I've been given because I know they were sent to be shared with our people and all people. And I gave up questioning it and just accept that's what I'm meant to do. This is my mom. 
the Chilcotin language teacher. Oh, hi, Sandy. And she's famous back home because <laughs> her name is in all of the language textbooks. She drove me insane as a kid because she would tape Chilcotin over all the words in my books. And this is Maya too, my grandmother. She only speaks Chilcotin. Too, huh? To anything. <laughs> She's the smartest person I know, mostly because she never went to school. And there's me, the 31-year-old who on a good day sounds like she's five. I know it's great for comic relief, but come on. A linguist mom? A monolingual grandmother? Where did it go so wrong? When you entered school, um, you start coming home and telling me, Mom, speak English, speak English. You want it so bad to be like everybody else at school. Also, I was taken to the residential school at six years old. Mm -hmm. And so they made us feel bad about our language and our culture and the way we were. And it really affected me. So it was easy for me to switch over when my daughter said, speak English. Like, what can I do to get you to talk Chilcotin to me now, all the time? Teach you as a student. One, two, three. Pony step. It's Anna step. Pony step. Sassy, you know, she chop. I was the uh, not in the bus canyon. Nina's kind. Then kind, I go to him kind of plastic. I go to the end in the garnish. I'm going to put in the head of the stick in the heart. I'm going to suit in I need a social stick. What's that? I need a social stick. Says, I need a social stick. I was understandable. You were understandable, though. <laughs> so I should keep practicing and not worry about being laughed at? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah? State a walk. Little clay place. And heart plus one make winters to swalk with to store. Ocean. Where cold. Beach. Where locked. Ducks. Yeah. 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 Yeah.